smith trigger using operation amplifier the case 2 when given utp and ltp are not of equal magnitudes this is the circuit diagram for this and here we have to find r1 r2 and v reference for a given utp and ltp let us consider that given utp is plus 4 volt and given ltp is plus 2 volt now first we have to find an expression for utp now we know that utp is the potential at the pin 3 that is a non-inverting terminal when output is a plus v set and ltp is the again potential at the pin number 3 when the output is a minus v set now in the uh, we also know that operation amplifier have a very high input impedance for that case that this is can be considered is isolated therefore you can you can consider that the circuit from for calculating purpose of utp and ltp that r r2 r1 and this uh, coming to the ground now the if you want to find the potential at the pin number 3 you can see there are effect of two potential and one is a plus v set in the case of finding the utp is a plus v set and another is a v reference now one by one we have to calculate and other potential other potential has to be grounded now you can see here this expression for utp is r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v reference and that is the expression when we make the v set ground and that is the expression that is the expression when we make the v reference ground and and the potential at 3 pin number 3 is the summation of these two that is that this this potential this is the potential due to the effect of v reference and that is the potential the effect of v set and summation of these two potential is the potential at 3 and therefore utp is the this is the expression ltp is when v set is minus and and the potential at the same point therefore the expression only changes the v set is a minus therefore minus is minus is been put here therefore this is the expression e equation number one is the expression for utp and and two is the expression for ltp now coming to the calculation if we summation of this ut this two expression we can come to this equation number three and subtracting we are coming to the equation number four now we already i told you that utp you have considered the utp is a plus four volt ltp is a plus two volt and from the expression equation number four we will substitute this value we can come to a relationship between r2 and r1 now if we any one of them we can choose according to the availability of the resistance in the lab now we can choose r1 as a one kilo ohm, then r2 will be nine kilo ohm. and after getting r1 and r2 we can substitute the value of r1 and r2 in the equation number three and also substitute the value of utp and ltp we can get the v reference and v reference we can get we can get the you can we can get the v reference after substitute the utp and ltp and the value of r1 and r2 we can get the v reference and v reference is is uh, is equal to from the calculation it comes to be 3.3 volt and that has to be has to be this value has to be connected in the lab now after connect after connections we have we have to get the waveform in a such a way that the we have to get the utp as a 4 volt and ltp is a 2 volt now for that purpose let us go to the lab a smith trigger using operation amplifier this is the case two when given utp and ltp are not of same magnitudes that means utp and ltp of different magnitude and this is the circuit diagram you can see here in the circuit diagram r1 and r2 one thing is added here this has been v reference the v reference is required when the utp and ltp are not of same magnitude now uh, and you can see that two as usual two is been connected to a function generator which which will be producing the sinusoidal wave now i am coming to that as per the as, sub, let us suppose that the utp is 4 volt and L, 
LTP is 2 volt and already we know that VZ is equal to plus 10 volt and after the calculation R1 we got 1 kilo ohm and R2 we got 9 kilo ohm and the V reference we got 3.3 volt. Now coming to the connections. Now the pin number 7 is connected to the plus VCC that means in our case it is plus 12 volt the pin number 7 you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 the pin number 7 you can see here this is the pin number 7 has been connected to the plus 12 volt this is the plus 12 volt and is the red OS is connected from 7 to plus 12 volt now coming to the pin number 4 is to be connected to the minus 12 volt that means minus VCC that means 1, 2, 3, 4 and the green wires you can see there is the 4 and connected to the minus 12 volt. Therefore, this is the pin. Now, after that, I am coming to the R1. The, in this case, the R1 is you can see 1 kilo. Therefore, it is, it is been connected, R1 is been connected between the pin number 3 and positive of the V reference. Now, V reference is, is a regulated power supply and we, we have to have we have to have a regulated power supply because the very it, it is the voltage is 3.3 volt a fraction of voltage fraction of voltage is also required therefore we have and this is the you can look at that is the regulated power supply we have we can change the uh, voltage we can change from 0 to 32 volt from here and with a with a fraction also with a fraction also we can change now you can see here therefore this is the red, this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. Now we according to the R1 has to be connected between 3. Therefore this R1 in this case is 1 kilo ohm. One is, is connected, one end is the 3. The other end is going to the, other end is going to the positive terminal of the regulated power supply. Therefore you can see this is the wire where it is going to the, is the green wire which is connected to the other end of the resistance and is going to the positive terminal of the regulated power supply. And the negative terminal of the regulated supply is the ground, is the common ground which is the made in DC power supply. The main, this is the and therefore we have connected here with the this this point which is the which is the ground point we are making a common ground. Therefore therefore this is the this this point is connected to the common ground of DC power supply. That this point we are making the common ground. Now coming to this R2. Now coming to R2, in our uh, as per the design, it should be 9 kilo ohm. Exactly 9 kilo ohm we don't have, we don't have in our lab. Therefore, what we have done, what we have done the 3.3 kilo ohm and 5.6 kilo ohm made into in series. This, this is this is 5.6 kilo ohm. You can if you look at the color band, it is green, blue, and the red. And this is 3.3 kilo ohm. And if you look at the color band, it is orange, orange, and red. Therefore, combination of these two, it gives you approximately nine, nine kilo ohm. And this is the therefore it is, you can look at that the R2 should be connected between six and three. Therefore, one end is the six. This is the pin number one, two, three, four, five, six. One end is the three. Other end, other end is here and we have connected the wire and brought it to the this wire is connected to the 3 therefore this resistance of 9 kilo ohm is connected between 3 and 6 and that is all about the that is all about the connection and only one thing we we'll, we have to connect the uh, pin number 2 to function generators that function generator we have to connect and uh, we we are we are connected to the function generator therefore i am connecting to the function generator here you can look at the function generator here uh, you can this is the function generator terminal and the red one is is connected to the radio red one is connected to the pin number 2 and the black one should be connect, connected to the common ground therefore common ground is this is the already i told this is the this is we are taking the common ground therefore i am connecting at the common ground Therefore, we connected the common ground. Now we see the waveforms. Now, first you switch on the DC power supply, then you switch on the function generator, then oscilloscope, then regulated power supply, 
and then well, already we adjusted the regulated power supply as per our requirement 3.3 volt you can see it here and also functional generator is approximately uh, 50 hertz we have uh, uh, adjusted we have we have tapped into the almost to 50 hertz and also you can see we we have uh, the switch corresponding to sin sinusoidal generator we have switched on and that is the uh, that is the thing and now we are coming to the connection already we connected the function already functional generator has been connected and then then we have to see the waveforms that now i am coming to the channel number one channel number one you can see uh, the channel number one is to be connected to the input waveform therefore wherever wherever the function generator is being connected you can see the function generator is being connected in the pin number two pin number two i have to connect the channel number one red and the same place because i want to get the input waveform and then and the black one is the again to the common ground black one is the common common, common ground i am connecting and immediately you can see there is a sinusoidal waveform is showing into the oscilloscope you look at the oscilloscope it is sinusoidal waveform is there in the oscilloscope now i am coming to the output waveform output waveform we will see at the channel number two channel number two is already i told it is six the pin number six you can look at that pin number six one two three four five six already i kept the wire and uh, to be here and therefore in red one i am connected to the pin number six and the black one is the again again is a common ground and you should take care that 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 it should not touch the other red the otherwise waveform will be deteriorated therefore i am connecting here immediately you got the rectangular waveforms after rectangular waveform now we'll analyze that waveform according to our design we got the correct waveforms or not and now you look at that you can see that it is crossing the yellow is the output waveforms the rectangular waveform yellow uh, color is the output waveforms and the red one is the input waveform they are crossing at a four and as soon as as soon as the input waveform is getting higher than four the output is changing from high to low again again when it's come down again when it is after the maximum when it's coming down it is two when it is when it is going below two the input wave is going going below two the output waveform is changes its value from low to high therefore this one the four volt is the upper tripping point at this point tripping happens that means it is the change of the stage that the high to low it goes at this at the four volt it goes from a the state of high it goes to low therefore this point will be known as upper tripping point and the and again when is goes below the two it the state changes from low to high therefore this point will be known as lower tripping point as 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 per the as per the design whatever which we must have got that waveform we are getting in, into the oscilloscope the same way therefore we can say therefore our design uh, we are getting the same type of waveform what should it, what we should have got it 